Good morning everybody. We have a very exciting day today. We've got a lovely chap called Mr. Squires. All right. So Mr. Ash. This is his beautiful, super, super retro GZ20. In all fairness, it's probably the first one I've ever seen in the UK, uh, especially looking like this. What year is it, Ash? Uh, 1987. 1987, so as old as me. <laughs> hey! Still looking pretty fresh. I'm taking it you haven't let John drive it and you haven't done many drifts. <laughs> One of the really cool things about it is obviously a lot of the cars in, in the UK run sort of super, super large wheels, but this is still on 15s. 15s, B-Star Mark 1s. And what's, what's the specs on them? Deep. <laughs> bumper is you were saying high road? Yeah, high road. It's quite sort of detailed as front bumpers yeah. go, isn't it? The original bumper is still underneath. Ah, right. So that's so like a sort of like a half okay. cut. Yeah, yeah, it's like a valance. It's over the top. Yeah, cool, man. The same thing with the side skirts? Yeah, uh, same thing with side skirts. They're high row. There was the original ones underneath, but the paint shop said it was better fitted. Just to get rid of those get and rid put of the new ones on, so yeah. still white. And then rear, rear stock rear bumper? Yeah, stock rear bumper. Um, and it's just got these added like little. Oh yeah, on the bits. side, like little sort of um, like sort of canards or whatever you call yeah. them. Yeah, nice man. It's really nice. We don't sort of get a huge amount of classic sort of retro Japanese cars on the channel, so yeah, it's quite refreshing to have one. I'm going to show you inside because it's extremely JDM. Have a quick look inside. We've still got the original original velour interior. Yes. Nom nom. <laughs> so yeah, I quite like it. Super super comfy. <laughs> It's very good. What is going on in the back here, man? It's like your nan's curtains. <laughs> but it's a bit different, man. I must admit, I think it's uh, it's pretty cool in here. Just quick round, look around the front. You've got the old, these are like the things off the Tokyo subways. Yes. Yeah, like sort of train, train handles animals. for your passengers to hold on just in case you're doing some duggets. We've got a nice little Momo steering wheel. It's an old school sort of double din. JDM yes. head unit, I think no touch screen and talk to yeah, Japanese. Japanese, yeah. I think no JDM cars complete without some sort of wacky double din head unit. The other thing I've just noticed is it's got the digital display like the newer Saurus. Yes. But Whereas it's up here. And this is like a mirror, it's like deep space mirror, and you can actually see it all it's up cool, there. Man. So What's it like with speed bumps? Yeah. <laughs> One of the drawbacks of having a super cool, super low looking <laughs> car like this is they can be a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes to drive, but I guess you sort of check your routes and make sure you're not going anywhere too sort of off road. Yeah, try not to go anywhere with major poles or speed bumps. Yeah, but it's if just... I carry it, I'll get over it. Yeah. <laughs> horsepower wise, these from Fracture, you said were they about 200 horsepower? I've been told 210 to 11. And then you think this is running about sort of between 230, 250. To around that sort of thing. Told. Is, yeah. How's the power delivery? You, sort of, you find it's quite nippy? It's nice. It's nice now the turbos work. Yeah, I'm nice. <laughs> Let's have a quick look under the engine bay, man. So this is a 1G GTE, so it's Correct, a two yes. litre twin turbo. Straight six. Straight six, essentially the predecessor of the of the 1J. Yes. Which we all, we, which we all love. Stock front mounted intercooler. Yeah. Was it always in this position or has it been relocated? I'm guessing so, it's always been there. Yeah, um, nice little cheeky uh, strut brace. I think it's a Cusco one. Yeah, it looks like the same same sort of Cusco. Yeah. They always have that anodized blue. What about um, suspension? Because obviously it sits sits super low. Is it fully adjustable coilovers? Yeah, fully adjustable tines. Oh, the, the tines, nice yeah, man. Tine. Cool. Any sort of suspension arms underneath or pretty much stock? I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure it's just basic. Basic. It's just like the coilovers yeah. um, that were on when they came over, just when it came over, it wasn't the height I wanted it. Yeah. So slammed it. And it is super, super large. I don't know if you can quite sort of appreciate it, but yeah, running 15 inch wheels, it is on the floor. God, yeah, it sounds just like a 1J, man. It's very similar. Yeah. A couple of little revs. We are all good to go. That's just a basic rundown of Ash's awesome, awesome Sora. We're now going to hit the road, um, go and take some sexual cinematic shots using Mr. V, the good old cameraman, and I shall give you my impression. Peace. All right, we are all good to go. We've got the mic set up. We've got a fine squire called Ash. 
Yes. Got a cheeky little monkey. John's staying here. <laughs> what we're going to do is Ash is just going to get out the farm for us because it's extremely, well, yeah, the road's a little bit bait coming in. And the last thing I want to do is scrape the shit out of his car. <laughs> Fucking hell. So did, did you import the car originally from Japan? Uh, well, it was, I was looking for an S4, you know, um, and I was God, that was, God, you went from one extreme to the other, yeah, didn't you? But it was on the S4, you know, but it come up and I was like, that's so cool, it's so JDM, I want it. Uh, I suppose once you see it. Uh, God. <laughs> safe. You were saying earlier they, they actually made a, a sort of limited run of 500 tons of edition tons ones. Editions. And they're obviously super rare and they're probably very expensive as well, yes. I take it, yeah. What's the mileage on it? Well, 127,000 kilometers. That's fucked. That's yeah. like 80,000 miles? Something like that. Yeah, it come, it come over on 82,000. So in like this year and four months. You've done a lot of miles. Get in it about a bit. When you drive it, do you find it must be head turning. You must get a lot of people just thinking, A, what is it? B, a lot of people loving it. Yeah. Good, yeah, good, okay. good, good bird turning. Get, get the ladies. Oh, even the old ladies. <laughs> nice. Surprisingly quick. <laughs> Oh, that's not bad, man. Nice. Yeah, for 250 horsepower, it's, it's faster than I thought. Nice. Yeah. The way Ash has had this painted, it actually looks different in different lights. Obviously, on a grey sort of day like today, it looks like quite a, a sort of dark, sort of blacky purple. On a nice sunny day, it really sort of shines and looks like a pops. Pops. That's a very good yeah. expression. It pops out with a nice fresh purple, which is cool. Gosh, it does go, man. For an old girl. What do most people think this car is when they see it? I've had loads. Mainly, mainly think it's a chaser, like an old school chaser. Really, yeah. Yeah, chaser, Skyline. I've had someone say, really nice S13, and I've said it's not at all. It yeah, does actually, you know what it looks a little bit like? The old S12, Sylvia, yes. a tiny bit. It's got like the PS13 front end, so like the brick lights. Yeah. But it's cool, man. It's very striking to look at, and you think well, if this was made in 1987, well, you know, it's very, it was quite a very modern design yeah. for back then. I, I really like that sort of old school boxy Japanese Love feel. Old school cars, man. Yeah, me too, man. This is going to be my first experience ever driving a 1G GTE Sora, so yeah. very happy. Right, let's go and have a little drive. Can't go too mad because like we said, the car is super low and super rare, so we're just going to take it easy and go for a, a nice little drive. Clutch feels really light. Mm, does, it, does it stop clutch? Uh, I'm guessing so. Yeah. I don't really know much about it to be fair. It's Thing with this car. It's, it's a, a pleasure bit, to my it's eyes. It's a bit of an unknown, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's all about the looks. Really. Just go slow on this speed yeah, bump. Yeah, man, we got speed bumps. <laughs> oh, don't do this to me, Ash. Do I just go real slow, yeah? Yeah. Japanese cars all came with a speed limiter, even an R32 GTR that could potentially do 
170 miles an hour, they're all limited to 112. Obviously you can delimit them, but it's nice you've actually kept the limiter in. Ash has got a speed limiter sort of defender or yeah, cutter. Basically, basically it will convert it from the kilometers hour to miles, to miles hour, an hour, which yeah. will then cut off their restriction. Then, uh, then you should be able to theoretically do, but I reckon you probably get a good 140 out of this. Yeah. I'd like to think, on a private... It feels like it needs a sick though. Yeah, I was going to say that, like now we're cruising at about... 110 kilometers, it's about 65. Yeah. yeah, and we're doing three and a half thousand RPM. Yeah. Maybe you could do a, um, you know, change the ratio of the diff maybe or something, yeah. just to give it a bit more length in the gears. But. brings this video to a close. It's been my first experience ever driving a static 1987 Toyota Saurus. So yeah, massive thanks to Ash for bringing it down. No I really worries. appreciate it, man. So if right. you guys could do us a massive favor, if you just look in here, this is Ash's uh, Instagram. It's just 1987 Sora. If you could give him a follow, we'd really appreciate it. And obviously you can keep up to speed with all the stuff he's gonna be doing, which I'm sure will be lots of years go by. Yeah. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give us a like. Put any comments in the comment section and yeah, see you soon. Peace.